Okay, and welcome back to the Payday 2 video walkthrough guide, whatever you want to call it. This is Framing Frame Day 3. Our assets here are Bag Shortcut and the, of course, Med, med and Ammo Bags. Bag Shortcut will allow you to throw the, the bags of cocaine down the uh, vent to one of the uh, safes. Well, to near one of the safes. It's a good asset to buy, if you get the right safe. Alright. First thing we are looking for are items, laptop, two uh, external hard drives, and uh, everything else. Phone and tablet. Yeah, that's right. Guards and cameras are going to be our biggest threats, so we are actually going to take the guards out. There will always be five guards, a, uh, so we're going to kill four and tie down one. And once the guards are out of commission, we can take out the cameras. There is no security room. So, we're going to go down these stairs. If there's no camera in the other room, be sure to go in that room first. Oh, hello. One just gonna walk away, so we're gonna shout this one down. I honestly thought we were gonna go loud there for a second. If you go loud there, you can, uh, you won't be able to get the gold, but you can still do this. You can hack the, uh, th there's security doors over there. You can hack the security doors. Well, not hack the security doors. There's a security room under one of those. Are, there are three doors. One will have a security room, just like in Big Oil. You can hack the security room. Well, yeah, in the security room you can do a hack. I hate words today. After you do the hack, you can escape. But we're not going loud here. We are taking out all the guards, which... actually having a good time at it right now. It's three guards down and only a minute in. And we're doing pretty good. Alright, the vaults will be... There are three locations for the vaults. There's one upstairs, well, on the second floor, and two downstairs. One in the main room and one in his bedroom, and one down a corridor. They will be behind bookcases. There's only three bookcases in the level that you can move, and you'll see where one of them is here. I move all three in the guide. One of them's right there, but the guy in the bed. Just, just for you guys. Anyway, you can move the uh, bookcases. If you find the vault, you can, uh, stash body bags in the bookcases, so, well, behind them in the vault, so you don't have to, uh, worry about them being found. Make sure to move the bookcases back if you open them. If the guard sees them and they're like that, they will call in an alarm. Because it will be, uh, technically breaking and entering, I think, or something out of place, I don't remember. Okay, you want to find all the, uh, items. That's the tablet PC. Yeah, Perfect. Stuff. We have two guards left. There's one there, and I don't know if we'll be able to see it here, but I actually spot the last guard on my own. Is it a uh, errant beam of light? Yep, see it right there? He's on the roof. They will be on the roof sometimes. Okay, right behind this corridor right there, there's uh, one of the other vaults. That's the vault you can use to solo it. Take this guy out, and then go and take that guy out, and then we're, we're okay to destroy cameras, and then find everything. I wasn't... Whoa. What? Oh, right. The camera. Almost forgot about the camera. I wasn't sure if I could uh, take him out without the guy seeing through the skylight, but of course, that wasn't an issue. Uh, uh, sometimes I just see things. Not, not to alarm you. Alright. I'm not going to speed this up uh, until... I get all the items to show where the items could be. I don't know why I bagged the body if I was just going to put it there. A little bit of frame rate issue. Oh, he's moving, he's moving. Unlike uh, other levels, there will be no stationary guards here. Even if they look like they're going to be stationary, they won't be. The cameras can track them, uh, track their locations. Like normal. Alright. That's all five guards down in under four minutes. Now the rest of the heist is a piece of cake. If you have two people, you can easily get all the gold. If you have one, it depends on the uh, on the vault. If the vault's the uh, furthest one on the ground floor, you're going to have a bad time. If it's the uh, if it's the one on the on the second floor near the office, you can easily do it. If it's the bedroom. Uh, it's doable, it's just not as easy as the one, this one right over here. That bookcase over there. Alright, now you're going to find every item, 
And make sure to kill the cameras. Especially if you have somebody uh, with heavy armor around you. Like Foxy. Yeah. There will sometimes be key cards and items. Also do not shoot any glass just in case. Finding the items is actually the hardest part after taking care of everything. Just because... Well, there's the phone. The phone is the hardest one to find. We are making progress. That's one of the yeah, if you don't have enough cameras from day one... I believe you can do this. Day one, you uh, steal the paintings. The paintings are installed in the cameras. If you don't get enough cameras, uh, you're going to have a hard time finding every item. But luckily for me, I know pretty much every location after doing this heist multiple times. Grab that through the wall because why not? Hard drives. Keep it up and the last oh, one's on the bottom up. floor, I believe. The items will randomly uh, change, of course. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hello. Almost blew this. Love the animation for the the reload animation for the de Deagle. Desert Eagle, Deagle, Great. whatever. The laptop. Okay, now we're going to set up everything on the roof. Great. Fortunately, I told Foxy not to set everything up because I wanted to show it. Which means that I have even more work to do. So yeah, this is a pretty much a 20, 20 minute day no matter what you do. Unless you have four people who can move the gold incredibly fast. Hack is, I think, a four-minute, a uh, four-hundred-second hack. Same laptop. Don't know we can just use ours. Okay, just keep going. What you're going to do now is you're going to go down to the office and access this computer. You're going to spend a lot of time in the office. Also, as of Big Oil, I have no idea which one I'm uploading first. You can tell which one uh, the security room is in by finding the power boxes. It should be the one be in the office this time, but it might not be. I don't even think I opened any security doors. Didn't need to. That flash of light almost uh, cost us the uh, game because Foxy didn't know it was a guard. Foxy didn't know he was a, like a hostage. He almost shot him. Don't shoot the hostages. It's a bad idea here. Alright, speeding this up, there's one of the other safes, and there's the other. Alright, Foxy's throwing the cocaine down the bag shortcut. This is the best safe for the uh, bag shortcut. I'm going to just speed it up incredibly fast here because it's just repetition after repetition after repetition. There are eight total bags. Now we're going to go upstairs, back to the office. Fox is going to come down because Fox is going to be our uh, laser man also. Oh, so I did open the door. Instead of using the key card, I don't know why, it's just force of habit. Yeah, I was wrong, though, it's not the security room. <coughs> <coughs> Alright, you're going to start the override here, which is going to open the safe, and then you can escape. If you want the gold, go for the gold. If you don't want, don't want to take a risk. You don't have to. We're going to go for it because we are. We're just us. All right, Fox is going to interact with the computer. I'm going to move these bags. Interacting with the computer will let the uh, will take the lasers down for about 15 seconds. So enough time to grab two bags of gold. You can stay in the... well, three bags. You can actually stay in the vault until the lasers go down. I'm just going to speed this up because it's the same thing over and over again. Don't like wasting time anymore. Just... yep. Alright, once you have all the bags, just do, I like to throw them away from the lasers just in case lag spikes happen. I don't want to, any, to blame anyone other than myself. Because I'm a good host. And then we just take them up to the uh, roof. And right now, the size actually went pretty good. Takes a long time to move this gold up. I don't think it, anyone wants to watch two idiots move uh, tons of gold all the way up. Uh, 
Alright. We're just doing a quick re uh, relay. You just put the gold up there, up on that little tarp right over the... Can I get a good picture of the tarp without it being over super speedy? Nope. Alright. You'll see it eventually. Right there. Put the gold on that. 60,000 a bag. More if we did it on overkill. A lot more if we did it on overkill. But I didn't want to risk it. Okay. And that's Framing Frame Day 3. One of the hardest heists and one of the most rewarding. Alright. Until next time. See you later. Shoot the ground. Actually, need to use the asset. Okay. Apparently, it's a little bit longer than I thought. Alright. I'll see you guys later. We're in the clear. flat. These arms steel store are a nice rock slant. Senator Pay. Bad guys one, politicians zero. Well done. Very smooth operation in there. The elephant will love this outcome.